time for our weekly Cam Newton preview, gearing up for the Patriots matchup in Kansas City against the defending champion. Six times here, I'll hear with Lazar. The passing game on Cam Newton's end was a little bit off against the Raiders, still got the job done relying on that run game, and he got better throughout the game. Do you think he gets back on track in terms of his passing game this week against the Chiefs? Oh, really fascinated to see how Steve Spagnola goes about defending the Patriots this time around. In 2019, the Chiefs with Tom Brady at quarterback, they did a lot of doubling of Julian Edelman and James White and forcing Tom Brady to throw to the Matt Lacosses and Mohamed Sanu and Nikhil Harry in his rookie season. And the Patriots only put up 16 points and weren't really able to move the football against that style of coverage. So the question is now, do they have the ability still with Cam in the pocket, his ability to move around, create plays, extend plays, and also scramble, of course, to play that type of man coverage where everybody's back is to the quarterback and they're, all their kind of extra resources on the back end are not spying Cam Newton, but instead doubling a guy like a Julian Edelman. So that's sort of the trump card I think that Cam has against these types of you know coverages that are really focused on taking Edelman out of the game is that, okay, you take Edelman out of the game, but if you only have six guys in coverage and one of them is bracketing Edelman with another, now who's spying Cam? Who's containing Cam in the pocket? If Cam can run wild, then they can get them out of those man coverages, play a little bit more zone, or give Edelman single coverage, and we know how well he does against both of those types of coverages. So that's the fascinating sort of chess match here. Patriots is, you know, are the Chiefs going to go with the same game plan of taking Edelman out and forcing Cam to throw to everybody else? And if they do that, can Cam make them pay with their leg, with his leg? Well, in week one, we saw him carry the ball 15 times, and we were like, how is this even going to be remotely sustainable? We haven't seen anywhere near that workload for Cam on the ground since, but is this a game on Sunday where you could see the Patriots relying a little bit more on his athleticism here? Yeah, you know, the the Baltimore Ravens certainly got some of those things going with Lamar Jackson. They just weren't able to keep it going because of the score. You know, once you get behind in a game by a couple of touchdowns, you, you kind of have to abandon the run and sort of throw your way back into the game. So the Patriots can play from ahead. They can continue to run the football and extremely effective the football against the Chiefs, and the Chiefs currently rank 30th in DVOA against the run, so this is not a good run defense. The problem is the Chiefs don't really care because they can just run up the score on you on offense where all of a sudden you look up and it's 17 to nothing. Well, there goes your running game, right? So that, that's really the difference is can the Patriots establish an early running game in terms of Cam being involved. Jackson was involved like he always is in Baltimore's attack last week, but the Chiefs do have Frank Clark is a pretty athletic editor that can really run pretty well and only Jackson's really the type of guy that can run through those types of angles where you know Cam is more of a power forward Jackson's more of your point guard type of runner so I think that in this game attacking the Chiefs inside linebackers which is clearly the weak part of their defense and with the under center rushing attack might be where the Patriots start and then sort of funnel in some of the Cam Newton runs from there but this team can definitely be run on and the Patriots certainly want to be able to run the football to keep the ball out of Patrick Mahomes' hands. So the run game is going to be a big part of it. I wouldn't be surprised if they rushed the ball over 40 times on Sunday. Well, for all of our Patriots coverage leading up to the big game, you can find it on our website at clnsmedia.com and on our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.